Hi everyone, welcome to Theo and Olaf. My name is Irene and with me is Olaf, our seven, now eight month old Samoya puppy. And today we're gonna to be talking about the farmer's dog. And as you can see, we have a few uh, food packs from them here and Olaf is busy enjoying the coldness of one of them. The farmer's dog is one of many subscription based uh, dog food companies. The idea is that you fill up a profile and a questionnaire that matches your dog's profile, their eating habits, um, any special needs, and the company will send you a box full of dog food. So it's supposed to be a lot healthier than kibble. It's fresh food, it's uh, vet design. So this really appealed to us. So as many of you probably remember, Olaf has a pretty sensitive tummy. We had wanted to introduce him to the raw diet from the get-go, but that didn't turn out to be a very smooth transition. So we decided to take a step back. Uh, we started with kibble and now we're thinking, okay, let's try fresh food as a way to transition to the raw food diet. And we decided that going with the farmer's dog could be a good way to start. So what's great about the farmer's dog is that they actually use human grade quality uh, meat and vegetables and they're designed alongside a vet to make sure that they meet nutritional needs of your dog. And the farmer's dog comes in four different recipes. There's turkey, like you see here, there's chicken, beef, and there's also pork. We've actually only tried three out of four recipes. We haven't tried the pork one. Um, and they all come in these little bags. Um, and the idea is that you feed a pack a day. We feed Olaf three times a day, so we give him a third every day. So what's been our experience so far using the farmer's dog? Well, overall, we're pretty pleased with the farmer's dog. I mean, granted, Olaf eats everything, and I literally mean everything. So he's not a picky eater. He finishes this stuff really fast. Um, I would say the turkey recipe is probably um, the noticeably most fresh recipe in my mind. You can see here that the colors are really vibrant. You can see the carrots, you can see, I think it's like spinach, the green. It's really obvious that, and you can smell it too, that's really fresh. Um, the chicken recipe right here, um, when it's thawed, is a little bit more watery. The broccoli is also a little bit more lighter colored. So I would say it's, uh, in terms of comparing these two, the turkey is probably uh, better in terms of the appearance of its freshness. Um, and then with the beef, I would say it's somewhere in the middle. Um, not as quite vibrant as these two, but not as uh, light and pale compared to the chicken recipe. But Olaf does love all of them. He gobbles them all up. Um, one thing I did notice is that his poop does look a little bit smaller. I wouldn't say it's significantly like, wow, they're like tiny morsels. They're still uh, clumps that you gotta pick up. They are a little bit smaller and they smell not as bad compared to when he was eating kibble. Um, one thing I also noticed is that he, Olaf may have trouble digesting a little bit of the carrots or maybe some of the chickpeas. I, I noticed that in his poop, sometimes there's still a bit of orange and a little bit of yellow specks in it. So um, overall though, he doesn't have too much of a stomach issue with the food. Um, I would say that maybe there's some things he has trouble digesting as well or processing as well. If there were things to improve, I would say it would be great to change the packaging so that you don't have to squeeze out of this as like you were squeezing out toothpaste without a cap. So um, the top portion is fine, but once you get to like the bottom uh, two thirds, it can get a little bit messy. And uh, the farmer's dog does give you a little container in which you can store this, um, but still it's a little bit messy. I've seen other brands where you just open up from the top and it's easier to store for sure. Um, it would also be great if um, the farmer's dog did come with different recipes. So if Olaf really did have a slight intolerance to say carrots, it'd be a great to customize that and say, hey, I don't want a recipe with carrots or um, have more turkey options without carrots per se. Aside from these product nitpicks, I would say the ordering experience was quite lovely. Um, it's very easy to update his profile with his weight and such and um, to reschedule deliveries as needed. Um, the only hard part is that because he is a growing pup, you got to make sure to stay on top of his weight so that he gets enough food in each pack. There's been times where I forgot to update his weight and then I had to add like a little bit of additional treats or food to make sure that he is full enough because you are always hungry. So if you are interested in trying the farmer's dog, they do offer a trial of 50% off. For us, it was a total of $55 and that's a great steal. Otherwise, it's about $113 for uh, 
14 days worth of food, and it's about $166 for 21 days worth of food. Uh, so definitely costs a bit more than kibble, but it's worth it because you're given fresh food ingredients. So overall, we are pretty pleased with the farmer's dog. This is a great option for people who are looking to uh, explore options aside from kibble to give more fresh food options to their pup. So overall, I would give the farmer's dog four and a half out of five paws. Um, Olaf is pretty happy with the farmer's dog, but we are also going to compare it against other options in the market. Olaf, check it out. So if you're interested in the farmer's dog or you've had experience using the farmer's dog yourself, please be sure to comment in the comment section below. And as always, if you like this content, please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching. Like it? <laughs>